What's shaken, Navigation Nation? Today's Tuesday, March 3rd. Welcome to today's update. So big headlines this morning. The G7, we're getting on a phone call. All the big daddy seven powers of the world getting together to discuss what to do here. I would have loved to been a fly on the wall of that phone call. Who knows how it went, but the way I envisioned it was something like this. Hey guys, what are we going to do? This coronavirus is making us look bad. I know, I know. Jerome, why don't you get out there and cut the Fed fund rates by 50 basis points? That should do it. That should calm everybody down. That should make the markets go back up, right? Well, so we're watching the market during this period. Markets were up at that point, this area here, and they made the announcement and the market didn't really react. I mean, theoretically, you would think, okay, that's that's a positive. They, they're cutting rates. They're making money cheaper than it already is. And so essentially, wouldn't that make stocks trade higher? Well, uh, they just kind of sat there for a while. And so one of the things that we did is we added to our short delta. We added to our indices, we shorted wind casinos, and we also took off uh, for profit a VXX call spread, which is kind of an inverse. So it's actually a long delta position and we booked some profits there to give us our, our portfolio an overall shorter bias. And so that paid off well for us. Obviously the market went down instead of up. Uh, you can see the S&Ps are currently trading minus 46, minus 47. We've got about 10 minutes left in the cash markets and they're actually trading low. They, they were trading down, S&P was down 100 at one point, but they are bouncing off of their session lows. So interesting, interesting stuff. The other thing we are watching was bonds, right? Bonds have an inverse correlation to interest rates. Now, typically when the Fed makes an adjustment to rates, to the federal fund rates, that's really gonna affect the shorter duration notes and bonds more than the longer dated ones, which is the one that we tend to watch and trade. But bonds were down earlier in the day. And even after the announcement, bonds continued to stay in negative territory for quite a while. And then all of a sudden, boom, they spiked up. And now they've given back about half their gains coming into the close though. But just very interesting, interesting stuff as we kind of continue on in this wild ride of a market. If you go down the list of some of the main stocks that we watch, I mean, so much red. I mean, everything, almost everything is red. For some reason, eBay is up a couple percent. We've got Lyft trading higher now later in the day. But for the most part, Uber's up a little bit. For the most part, everything is in the red. In fact, one of the things I like to look at here is if you go to in TOS, if you go to the Market Watch tab, and you go to the index watch, you can choose whatever index. I'm just looking at the, the largest 100 stocks in the S&P. When I was looking at it earlier, there was only two advancers and everything else was declining. So if we look at the two, the few advancers here, Coca-Cola, apparently people are still drinking some Coca-Cola with the coronavirus around. So that's good. The other one is TMO, Thermal Fish. Uh, so that's like a bio tech research company. So obviously that could be doing well because they're probably involved to some degree in, in getting paid for research on the coronavirus. But everything else is down. I mean, massive, massive down, down, down day. And when you see this, I mean, we've talked about this before, but when, when the markets are really going down, everything becomes correlated. Everything goes down. And so that's that's exactly what we're seeing here, where you're seeing very few things popping their head up in the positive territory. And then a couple other movers in the commodity space. I mean, oil bouncing higher, up over a percent. It was up quite a bit more. Gold up pretty big, 2.73% to the upside. Gold and silver both, both trading higher. Nat gas up almost 2.5%. So Big movements in the market, and I think we'll continue to see this. I don't think we, we see the volatility slowing down anytime soon. I mean, look at this. They, the S&Ps were down 35, 36. Now they're, you know, just in the couple minutes I've been talking, uh, now they're down 70. So keep your position size small, my friends. Also, want to make a quick announcement. We are doing an updated presentation to our uh, portfolio hedge, what we call our portfolio bunker. So jump in the community. There's a link in there. You don't need to register. It's free. You can come join us. It's going to be this Thursday, Thursday, March 5th at 11 a.m. Central Time. So Thursday, March 5th, 11 a.m. Central Time. It will be recorded. I know it's kind of middle of the day. Not everybody's going to be able to join live, but please do. We'll have a plenty of time for Q&A after the presentation. 
it's a strategy that you want to know for times like this. And so make sure you join us. The link will be, like I said, in the community. Just go to community.navigationtrading.com and you can check that out. Everybody have a great evening. Talk to you tomorrow.